Yo, what's going on guys? J E T here. And today we're gonna be doing another Andre Drummond video. And we're actually gonna be putting Andre Drummond on the Celtics and there are rumors about him that he might actually get traded. I mean, do I think he's gonna get traded? Yep, he is. He's on a one year deal. I don't think he's gonna go back to Detroit unless if he doesn't wanna win. But one of the teams that could actually get him in a trade is the Celtics and the trade that I did was straight up uh, Gordon Hayward for Andre Drummond. Like, perfect trade. The Pistons get Gordon Hayward. I mean, he, he was an all-star player until he got injured. And he's actually looking re really good, uh, Gordon Hayward. And Gordon Hayward has about the same, like, salary as Andre Drummond. Maybe a little more expensive, but it's going to work out. So here's our team. We literally have the same team except for now we have a center under Drummond. So here's is gonna be our starting lineup. We got Kemba, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Andre Drummond. And then we have Ennis Cantor as our six men. We also have Robert Williams, Daniel Dice, and Brad Wanamaker. We're also gonna go with a seven second system. And then I also put uh where where are they? Romeo Langford and someone else to the deal. Yeah, Carson Edwards. And then Taco Fall. He's gonna definitely play for us next season. We gotta make sure we get the GOAT Taco Fall. So this is our team right now. I mean the Celtics get under German. Do you guys think this will automatically make the Celtics like better than the Bucks and the Sixers? I mean probably than the Sixers, because the Sixers are playing bad. Like, I, if I were the Sixers, I'll trade Ben Simmons. Like, I'll trade him. I don't hate Ben Simmons. It's, just, it's either between Embiid or Simmons. But, yeah, do you guys think this trade for Drummond will make them a championship contender? Do you, do you think they will come out of the East and beat Milwaukee in a conference finals? I mean, I think so. I think this team could beat Milwaukee. And then, do you guys think this will be like, like, like the Lakers in the finals? Like, let's say the Celtics and the Lakers make the finals, and we, we, we have another legendary finals. Do you think this can beat the Lakers? I'm not sure, but I am gonna sim to the end of the season. Right now, we're 25 and eight. We're, we're the second seed behind Milwaukee, the team we're probably gonna face in the conference finals. So I am gonna sim to the end of the season, and hopefully, we can be that number one seed and. I mean, make the finals and beat Milwaukee. So we made it to the end of the season. Uh, we finished with a record of hopefully 63 wins. We managed to win 62 and 20. We somehow lost to the Chicago Bulls, but we managed to win more than 60 wins. Uh, I saw the Bucks were actually 62 and 20 as well. So here's the All NBA team. All NBA first team under Drummond making it. All NBA second, All NBA third. No Kemba, Tatum, or Brown. But we are the first seed. Milwaukee is the second seed. They have literally the same record as us. So it's gonna be a little hard to try to beat them, but we'll see what happens. So here's Kemba Walker, 24 points, five and a half assists, 46 from the field goal, and 44% from three. Jalen Brown, about 20 points, uh, he led the team in scoring. Well, not led them, but, like, he was the second highest scorer on the team. 20 points, about 6 rebounds, 52% from the field goal, 36 from 3. And we got Tatum. Uh, we had Andre Drummond, 17 and 15. That is what the Celtics need. A big man that could play better defense than Ennis Cantor. So that's all I'm going to say. First off, we got Miami. We're probably gonna beat them. How are they the eighth seed? Miami shall at least be the third seed at least. Uh, so it looks like we're having a hard time. Okay, we beat Miami. We got Philly in the second round. Can we beat Philadelphia? Maybe. I mean, they're 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 actually a team that always that sometimes won the championship in this game. But it looks like we're gonna beat them for one. And we got Milwaukee. <laughs> we got the other team. We actually beat them by one point. We got Milwaukee. Uh. Can we beat Milwaukee? Come on, let's beat them. 2-0. Come on. 3-1. We beat Milwaukee. Okay. We actually beat Milwaukee by five points. Okay, Giannis, 29 and 12. Yeah, the, 13 points for Chris Middleton, our second best player. Can we beat the Clippers? Let's be come on. Let's win this ring. We gotta win the ring. 
Let's go. Okay, we won the championship. Okay, we actually beat them by four points. So we won the championship in our first year. Uh, year to close out game. So we won the championship in the first year. So 2K is saying that this is a great trade that the Celtics really need under Drummond. Uh, let's go all the way to staff signing. We're gonna do one more season. Taco Fall. We're gonna. We're gonna let Taco play some minutes. We're gonna let him. He should play some minutes. Yeah, so we actually won a championship in our first season. Let's go to... Do we have a... Do we even have a good draft pick? Because Boston, they have so many, like, first round pick. Do we? We actually have the 10th pick. Good thing I checked. So we have a 10th pick. I mean, we don't need anybody. Maybe a nice backup point guard. Even a backup shooting guard we, we probably need as well. Let's go to draft, or we'll see what we can get for the 29 and 10 pick. We actually have three first round pick, which is really nice. So maybe let's see what we can get for the 29 and 10 pick. Maybe we can get like JJ Redick. Probably not. But here's the trades: uh, Terrence Ross, Alon Wright. I mean, these trades are all right. They're definitely not bad. I mean, Robert Covington. Robert Covington wouldn't be back because Daniel Thais is our back for small four. I'll definitely go with Robert Covington. Yeah, I might actually go with Robert Covington. He's not, he's not a bad player. He's a great defender. You'll be a great defender off our bench. Yeah, so NBA draft, like, we we didn't need that 10th pick. Even, like, that 10th pick would probably want to play any minutes. Like, we're a championship team. Maybe another, more teams need needs it more than us. But we're going to get Ennis Cantor and Andre Drummond back. Andre Drummond is a 90 overall. And if you guys seen my other video, my other Andre Drummond video, he actually left us and went to the Detroit Pistons. So, hopefully he doesn't do the same thing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you're going to, yeah, we're going to have to pay him. Player option, no trade clause. Like, the Celtics will, will not give him a no trade clause. But since this is a video, we have to give it to him. Anybody else we want? I think we're good. Point guard. I mean, we can get better. We should have. We actually should have gotten for like uh Patrick Beverly, but I'll, I'm good with Robert Covington. Power four, we're good. And center, yeah, we need. May, maybe uh Bobo could be your backup center. Bobo. But where is Anis Cantor? Nine million dollars. Can we afford him? We'll maybe give you a new trade clause. No, he declines it. So let's get Andre Drummond. Let's be on fights on Gordon Hayward, him, Devontae Green, all of these players that we don't need. And yeah, let's get Andre Drummond. So, yep, he's finally signed with us. So here's a player that we could afford. Uh, we cannot afford Ennis Cantor. We can't. How about like. How about JaVale McGee? Could we not? He, he's not gonna sign for that much. Yeah, we're not gonna get like a like a nice backup center. We're probably gonna trade for one. But like, I'll say we need a backup point guard, backup shooting guard, small forward, good, power forward, good. I mean, we can run Robert William at the center position. A backup point guard available. Jogi Ferrell, Tyreek Evans, Wesley Matthews. I mean, Ken Bazemore. I'm probably gonna go with, uh, probably like Jogi Ferrell or Tyreek Evans. I'll probably go with Jogi Ferrell. Maybe we can trade him for something good. So let's go with Jogi. Taco Fa, hopefully, he, nobody like offers him a contract. Hopefully, he signs with us. Uh, where is Taco? Where's Taco Fa? Oh, he's not even here. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, Taco Fall, maybe, maybe I saw him, maybe, nah, he's not there, so, I am gonna simulate to the beginning of this, of our last season, and hopefully, I mean, we can get Taco Fall back in, like, our player overall already could improve. So, here's gonna be our starting lineup, we got Kemba, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Andre Drummond, and then we got Daniel Thais off our bench, we also have Robert Covington, Robert Williams, and Carson Edwards. We are also going to go with a... Wait, where's Taco Fall? Taco Fall actually signs with us. He's 72 overall, so he hasn't improved that much. 
Uh, we're actually gonna go with a balance system because that, that's the only four star like look at the other ones are three and a half star only this one is four star so that's why we're gonna go with a balance system and everyone does good at that everyone is like in that green area so uh let's go to power ranking for our final season and me that calm has that four 2k sports side two and eric has that four so i am gonna send to the end of the season our goal is to get to 60 wins once again and maybe go back to back i think we can go back to back if we be if we won the championship we can definitely go back to back so man, hopefully we can like get to 60 plus wins and go back to back so we made it to the end of the season uh we actually had the pistons in their last game uh gordon hayward 14 points he only shot nine times so yeah he did pretty bad but we finished with a record of 65 and 17 so we actually did pretty pretty good uh we were 62 and 20 last season so we improved by a lot we went coach of the year bad season 65 and 17 so here's the all nba team all nba first all nba second all nba third no drumming how did come on how did zion and yusuf nurkish make it over drumming that i mean i'm not saying that zion is better than then on um, drumming but like come on he's a rookie he probably didn't even play last season but Kemba walker 23 points five assists same stats as that season uh Tatum with the same stats as well now on 90 overall 18 points for brown we got drumming 16 and 14 and like one block okay how did uh gordon hayward do on the pistons what are the pistons gordon hayward about 15 points 48 percent from the field goal 38 percent from three they also got the marcus cousins and james wiseman i don't know why they got two centers but the first round we got the washington wizards can we beat the wizards definitely uh we actually have the bucks we're probably gonna face the bucks in the second round the sixers is a team that finished in the second seed uh, i want to know how many games they won the Sixers won 56, okay. Second round, we got the Bucks. How many games did they win? Uh, 48. How is their team looking like? Uh, Giannis, Chris Middleton, they're really the same team as last season. Uh, first round, we got the Bucks. Uh, can we beat them? We, I think we beat them in a game seven, I think. I, I, I think it was a game seven, maybe game six. But we got philadelphia in the conference finals we beat the bucks we easily beat them how are is philly looking like they got simmons how is simmons dropping 30 plus points he cannot do that in real life uh we got Embiid, horford tobias harris okay same team they also got aaron baines okay uh simmons dropping 30 plus points uh, <laughs> you gotta shoot a jump shot can we beat the sixers we beat them in a game five and we got the same team at last season the clippers uh here are the close out games can we beat the clippers once again upset them 3-0 oh let's beat the clippers no 4-1 we beat the clippers uh actually we beat every team in five games so we beat the wizard five games we beat the bucks five games the sixers in five games and the clippers five games so we went back to back we won more than 60 wins we actually won more than last season we went back to back and Let's check out how the players did in the playoffs. Kemba Tatum actually is scoring went up to 20. Then Brown scoring went down a little bit. Yeah, so we went back to back. So it looks like Drummond might be that missing piece the Celtics need to possibly win the championship or at least get out of the Eastern Conference and make the finals and beat the Bucks and the uh, Sixers. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I mean, please like this video if you want to see Andre Drummond on the Celtics. Especially Celtics fan, what do you guys think about Gordon Hayward for Drummond or, or would you guys not mess anything up? If I were you guys, I would definitely uh, give up Gordon Hayward for Andre Drummond and ma make a deep playoff run. Hopefully beat the Bucks and the Sixers. Also, subscribe if you're new and I'm out.